guys and welcome back to the channel. Um, I'm all dirty and scruffy again. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day out and we've spent all morning out in the gardens and um, I want to take you for a little walk around, show you what we got growing and um, a few things that, that I thought were particularly fun. So um, let's go take a walk. Okay, our first stop is the garlic, and um, it definitely needs the wheatgrass cut back out of it again, but you can see how big and happy they've gotten. And um, we're coming up here on the peas. Now, if you watched our recent videos, You'll know that we planted those only a few days ago. And there are little peas coming up everywhere. And we've got one more bed of peas over here. You can see this bed's coming up too. But there's Lots of little tiny baby peas in there. They come up really fast. Once they set their mind to it, they come up quick. And this is the third bag of garlic. And um, definitely needs the wheatgrass cut out of it too. But they're getting nice and big and they're a really deep green. But we'll come over here and look at the broccoli. And we have both of these beds here are planted in broccoli. And they're get already getting plenty of new growth on them. So they look really, really happy. There's one bed. And here's the other bed. very very happy and there's nothing coming up in this one yet we uh, just planted those beets but it won't take them very long either and now we're over to the first bed of cabbages and um, those are the volunteer onions that we put in in the center but this first bed of happy cabbages and then we'll walk over here now those two beds and that end bed down here and um, these little square ones here aren't planted yet um, we're going to put peppers in those beds and that bed back in the corner back there in the center of the screen is where um, my favorite tomato plant was last year chubs and um we're still waiting to see if the seeds in there sprout. But they would be all volunteers. But they should have no trouble sprouting. But if they don't, I save seeds too. And this is the second bed of cabbage. And um, these sets of volunteer onions. And they are all doing very well. And this is the third bed. They are all lively and happy. And they've got new green growth on them too. Get down in here and look. These are brand new leaves in there too. And everybody looks really happy. But we've been really busy this morning and um, got a, a bunch more over by the other chicken coops and um, our other um, wooden beds so let's walk over there and see what we've been up to okay you can see the ground over here is still really muddy and um, that is a box of strawberries and that is a box of strawberries and those were planted over um, the old asparagus that we had and 
we spent the morning getting all of these boxes cleaned up and it's still really muddy out here and uh, can't really bring a big mower through here so we just brought the little push mower out but these bags are all cleaned up and ready to go we've got um, carrots to plant next and we did the first clean up over here on the tomato steaks and um, I'll probably go through that again with a weed whacker and get a little bit more down to bare dirt and um, when we plant those we usually lay cardboard or newspaper out and then we cover it with grass clippings that way we can keep the weeds and the moisture down so that's got its first clean up for the morning and then we're going to come over here to the asparagus beds and um, everything's cleaned up around it and I'm getting ready to put more dirt in there and um, we're going to go ahead and seed it one more time but I did cut the first few big um, asparagus this morning as you can see there's there's still some in there that are growing. But I did take the first first few cuts this morning. And I gotta bring the dirt over. I've already got all the dirt to do it, but I gotta bring the dirt over. I'm gonna put another nice layer of dirt in there and get the mulch cleaned up a little bit. And um then we'll probably reseed it one more time. But I've got a few things that I want to show you, so stick around and I'll be right back. Okay, these are the little strawberry beds that um, are over here by the Chucker House. And I redid the beds last year, but what I wanted to show you was that the strawberries are already blooming. And there's there's actually quite a few blooms in here. And look at that, all that nice new growth. There's some more blooms. But they look like they're all ready and raring to go too. That there's actually more blooms in there than it looks when you get down in there close. So we're going to have strawberries in the not too distant future, but those little blooms are so pretty. Okay, I was walking by and I saw the rhubarb, which is all nice and happy. They're starting to come in and the rose bush back in the corner is starting to put leaves on. And I do need to get in here and weed, but... This is a snowball bush that's just starting to get leaves on it, too. But I couldn't walk by and not say anything because we really like rhubarb. And I'm really glad that it's already starting to grow really well. But let's see what else we can get into. Well, all of the trees in the front yard are getting fully green and they look pretty and you can see my J Magnolia back there in the background just covered in pretty blooms and um, this is one of my rescued maple trees and it has green buds on it lots of green buds so we'll walk up here and take a look at her She's definitely fully bloomed out now. That's so pretty. Oh, and I just saw a bee buzz by. See the bees have been out here. And she definitely has a little buffet for all the bees. Those are so pretty. 
Oh, I just got buzzed by a bee again. Let's see if we can find him. Oh, there's a couple of little bees. There's one up there on that flower. I can hear them buzzing around, but I can't. I can't see very many of them. But they're definitely busy and out here working on her blooms. There's a bee working on that dandelion. I was kind of hoping maybe this little patch of dandelions might have a bee in it. But he's hard at work and we probably shouldn't upset him. So we'll just go ahead and get on out of here. But it's nice to see the bees out. Okay, these are little vincas. And I was kind of hoping since they were bloomed out that maybe there would be a bee over here. But I don't see one over here right now. But pretty flowers. And oh, there's a little tiny... Oh, he ran away. There was a little tiny beetle bug. Okay, I just wanted to stop and take one quick long look here in the raised bed gardens. Because there's green in the garden and it makes me so happy. But I won't keep you. Okay, um, I'm really glad that you chose to spend your time with me today and I hope you enjoyed our little walkabout. Um, it was really cool seeing the first honeybee today, and um, it's it's a gloriously bright sunny day, and um, I couldn't help but need to be outside today. And we've got a lot of things growing in the garden, and um, a few more things to plant. Um, hopefully with the warmer weather over the next few days, maybe we can um, get get some of the ground dried out and we can get out there and you know, get a little bit more mowing and stuff done. But um, don't forget we have a really big giveaway that's coming up here really fast. And um, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Um, so if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Um, don't forget to ring that little bell. It will let you know when um, we do something goofy, plant something cool, you just never know what we're up to. And um, if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the little box below. And if you enjoyed today's walkabout, um, give me a thumbs up. And um, we hope that this finds everybody safe and happy. And we've got a lot of exciting things coming up. So um, don't forget to stick around and stay tuned because Mark's got something really big up his sleeve. And um, I won't keep you any longer. I, it's just too pretty to be in the house right now. But anyway, I'll let you go. And thank you for spending some time with me today. So love you. See you in the next one.